Hello class, uh, so today we're going to be going through the chi-square and how to conduct that in SPSS. So I'm going to be following along with the SPSS chi-square how-to document uh, found in your course modules under week 8. And uh, we're also going to be using the data set music.save uh, from week 7, so you can go and find it there and open it up. Um, so I already have it opened up in VLAB. Um, this is what it should look like, work with it before. Um, so the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to actually run the statistic here. So you want to start uh, right up here with Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Cross Tabs, because you're running a cross tabulation. Now we want to determine what variables we're using. Let's go back to our example here. So uh, we're hypothesizing that women would prefer uh, listening to music they bought, whereas men would prefer to listen to music they streamed online. Um, so our two variables are going to be sex with gender and prefers to stream versus buy. So stream versus buy, um, doesn't really matter where these go, row or column could be either, um, but these are both categorical variables with two levels. So it's important to remember um, that when you're doing a 2x2 two two chi-square that you're only using variables with two levels. So sex has male and female and uh, prefer to stream versus buy has levels uh, stream and buy. So two levels of each. Um, so now we want to go to statistics. We want to click chi square. This is very important. You want to make sure that you have this clicked. Press continue. And then we're ready to actually run. So here is our cross tabulation. Um, this is telling us here uh, the pattern or directionality of the effect. So we're seeing here automatically that men uh, prefer to stream versus buy. Um, or for own rather, and women uh, prefer to own compared to stream. So we're seeing a pattern here, and this is conforming to a research hypothesis that women prefer to listen to music they uh, bought, whereas men prefer to listen to music they stream. So we're seeing that here, women prefer to listen to music they own, whereas men prefer to stream the music. Four to two for men and zero to six for women. So now we can determine uh, if this effect is significant. So let's look down here and we'll be focusing on the Pearson chi-square. Just like our correlations, we're looking for the Pearson value. So our chi-square is uh, 6.000 with a degree of freedom of 1. And our significance is 0 0.014. A significance of 0 0.014 is significant because it is less than 0 0.05. So if you're... Uh, symptoms or your uh, significance two sided is less than 0 0.05, then it's significant. In this case, it is. So, this effect that we saw up here is significant. So, we can now say uh, that uh, there is evidence to show that women prefer to uh, listen to music they bought compared to men who prefer to listen to music uh, that they stream right here. So, again, we're using this top column to determine our values here. So let's write it out. Let's write the formula out here. Um, so first you want to notate uh, what test you're running. So we're running a chi-squared. So you put your x for your chi, and you go up here to superscript, click it, to click it again, and now you're off. So you want to make sure you click the 2 in here. So now we can italicize this. Remember your notations are always italicized. Make sure we're down again. Now you want to put your degree of freedom. This is not italicized, and we know it's 1 from right here. This equals our chi-square value is actually going to be 6.00. And our p is going to be 0 0.01. So this is what our formula should look like. Uh, we want to keep everything to the hundredth place here. Um, and this is just a quick note to remember, these do stay italicized, none of these values do. Um, so now you can take this table from up here, your actual cross tab, and you can turn it into APA format, which is already done right here. There's another video on how to do uh, this formatting um, uh, from an earlier week to get an APA. So now let's talk about the actual writing itself. So you first you want to talk about your table that you've created. So you've done this table by um, adjusting your layout up here um, and your design and so on and so forth. So you've uh, removed 
um, borders and cells and things like that and you finally got yourself a, a table by doing these up here that looks like this again there's a video for this so I will do it again um, now you want to talk about this table so you're talking about the hypothesis first so you supported your hypothesis from the direction of the table that there was a significant relationship between variables showing that women preferred to listen to albums whereas men preferred to um, stream them so women preferred to listen to albums they owned right here women owned six compared to zero and men preferred to listen to albums that they're streaming online we're seeing that right here four to two um, so we want to also notate what we created above which was our chi-squared equation we always want to put our equations in because uh, it gives an idea of what this chi-square value is as well as what your p-value is so it's different than the correlations table or the correlations write-up um, but you're still putting in the same information we just don't require a mean or standard deviation because those values aren't really useful to us because they're categorical